Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over some possible solutions or troubleshooting for when it appears your laptop is stuck restarting. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I want to point out is most of the time it just appears to be frozen or stuck, but you just have to give it some time to finish restarting. It may be a black screen for five or 10 minutes or longer before you show any activity. So just because there's nothing going on or the progress bar is stuck at a certain percentage does not mean that it is stuck restarting. There's likely stuff going on in the background that you're not aware of that just takes some time to finish updating or installing. Most of the status stuff you see on the screen is just visual eye candy. It's really not even reflecting what's going on in the back end. And sometimes those timers are arbitrary. They're really not doing any purpose. They're like the pedestrian uh, crosswalk buttons. You push them and they don't actually do anything. They're, it's a placebo, basically. And I think they have it on there it's just so people don't shut down their computers without waiting for the restart. They, they want to have people realize that something's going on. So that's why it's even on there. So generally speaking, for the most part, you can just leave that alone, let the computer completely restart normally. Now, if it's just stuck in like a boot loop or something, then you may have to use a media creation tool and go into different troubleshooting utilities, which you can search on my channel if there's any specific error messages, where we cover a variety of them on this channel. So that's something else you might want to take a look at. If you're able to get back into Windows, but you're noticing it just seems to take a while to restart your computer, you may want to check for different startup programs that are set to turn on every time your computer turns on. So it might be making your computer slower to start, basically. So if you right click on a blank area of your task bar and select task manager, you can select the little startup apps icon over on the left side. And then if you notice there's a lot of programs in here, you can just select them from the list and then select disable up here at the top. You can see their startup impact over on the far right column. You may have a different view configuration than I have here, but that doesn't really change anything. All, everything should really be here, or should be very similar to this. So pretty much almost everything can be disabled. Generally, if you do have certain programs you want to boot up every time your computer turns on, like antivirus software, or maybe printers in some cases, you might want them to turn on automatically, but they'll turn on once you use the application or once your printer turns on, it'll turn on. So you don't need it to turn on every time your computer turns on. Like it might make it a little faster for the app to load when you have it turned on in here, but that doesn't mean that you need it on every time your computer turns on. It's just a net negative, in my opinion, for most of these apps. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you think you might have system corruption issues, you can open the search menu and type in CMD. Best match should say command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you can just type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that's done, close out of here and then restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this pointer issue should have been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.